Hi everybody, this is Miss Leslie, the Youth Services Librarian here at St. Charles Parish Library, and welcome to Sunday Crafternoon. So today we are going to be repurposing some old milk cartons to make a little bird, decorative bird feeder for some of our feathered friends. It has a little spooky touch to it because we're getting into the fall season. So the supplies that you will need, you will need uh, any type of uh, carton container, it could be juice, um, lactose free milk or half and half or any type of carton. You want it to be like a good strong sturdy size. Um, you will need some paint and I've already painted mine like a base color just to um, you know just to kind of cover up some of the, the writing and you can have some additional paint. Uh, you're gonna need some scissors, a paintbrush and a napkin of course, um, a hole punch, some twine, and I have um, a little bag of various little foam shapes. I have some stars and leaves and flowers and things like that to um, help decorate our, our carton. All right, so let's get going. All right, so the first thing we did with the, uh, with the carton is to go ahead and paint it uh, a base color. I already did this one, so it's already um, dry and ready to go. Um, the next thing that we are going to do before we start sticking anything on is we're going to punch two holes um, here and here and this is so that we can run our twine through it later on. Alright, so we're just going to punch the hole uh, quite close to the end on either side. Now it is thick, um, kind of thick cardboard here, so a little tip is rather than trying to like squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze the hole punch until your arm, until your hands hurt, you, you want to do the squeeze, 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 but then you just kind of want to keep the pressure on and twist it back and forth and that'll kind of do a cutting motion and it'll make it like much easier to punch that out and you might have to get the little piece of cardboard out of your hole punch to do the other side. Come on. Okay, got that out. And we're just going to punch the hole. Twist and wiggle, twist and wiggle, and then you'll start to feel it go through. There we go. Alright, so we have our two holes punched that we're going to run through our twine later. And what we're going to do, turn this into a little bird feeder, is we're going to cut just on two sides. We're going to cut a little rectangle out of each one. And you just want to pick two sides because if you did all four sides, it wouldn't really be that structurally um, uh, strong anymore. So I'm just going to, uh, if you're doing this with a kiddo, you might want to have the grown up do the, the cutting and the hole punching and then have your little one help decorate. So I'm just going to go in probably maybe like three quarters of an inch from the side and I'm just going to kind of stab in with my scissor. To get it going. And this does not have to be perfect at all. Because you can hit it with another little bit of paint, hit some decorations on it. Now, if you're really good with cutting out little things like this, I saw some. Um, that were like super decorative and you can try and turn them into like little flowers and whatnot. But like I thought I'd just show you all the basic ones and then if you all have like insane good crafting skills then you can try your hand at making some more complicated designs.
All right, so there we go, got one side cut out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the other side. Again, you just kinda of wanna to, to stab it to get it going. So while I'm cutting up this one, let me tell you about some things that we have coming up in October. So if you check on our calendar, then you'll see that we have all of our events posted and we have uh, two really cool programs to go coming for you. So we have our STEM fair um, that we are going virtual this week, um, this, this year. Um, and we're still part partnering with Entergy Waterford 3 and uh, in preparation for uh, Nuclear Science Week. And so we're gonna be doing a, uh, a program to go back for STEM Fair, and it's gonna have all sorts of little science activities in there for y'all to do. We're gonna have corresponding videos for each one. Um, gonna be a book in there. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And then Entergy, um, Entergy Waterford 3, as part of their um, Nuclear Science Week national program, the following week after that, they're gonna have a whole bunch of other experiments that you can do. So it's gonna be a lot of STEM activities in October. And then to keep it light and fun, we are also going to be doing a pumpkin decorating bag. And so you have your own pumpkin, um, you know, as a bring your own pumpkin thing, but in that bag you'll have everything you need to do some really cool little decorations. So you'll have like some ribbons, some paint, some more of these little foam shapes, everything you need. And we'll uh, give you an inspiration guide with uh, some examples of what you can, how you can decorate your pumpkin. And I personally like painting and decorating pumpkins because I think carving, they just kind of get like messy and then they rot. And so I don't know, maybe I'm not a Halloween purist, but uh, there we go. All right, so there's your little, your little holes cut out and you don't want to cut too close to the bottom. I think I might've cut too close to the bottom with this one because you want to have room for the, the bird seed in there. But we have our two sides and so there's enough room for the little birds to perch and to get the food up. So now we're just going to um, gonna do some stickers, some little foam shapes. Let's see what I got. Let's see. I grabbed some of the Halloween foam shapes. I have a little black cat. That's cute. Oh wait, it's a bird feeder. Eh, probably not a black cat. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me do some stars. <laughs> stars, I think I have a couple of leaves. Oh, I have a little squirrel. That's cute. He's orange, he's gonna blend in, that's okay. So this is when you're, you can like really let your little ones have some creative fun with that. Actually, we put them on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? It's kind of on the inside so you can see. Let's see. Kind of stars on one side. This little flower, everything's orange. some monsters on this one so we got this little Frankenstein you could do any type of like little sticker or anything you have you know little bits and bobs um, we're gonna pun keep get little eyes Let's just stick those on as well so anything that you would like to decorate your little bird feeder Some of my paint has come off. 
as I was cutting around, and that's perfectly fine. I'm sure the birds will forgive you. But I'm going to cover them up with some stickers so you'll never know. monsters on here has some leaves on here you can keep going you know you add as many stickers as you want and if you want to take a little bit of paint and um, you know kind of touch up maybe you know like you know little spots or you want to say write some words on here any type of decoration you want to do right birds harder to write with a paintbrush than I thought. <laughs> I wrote birds up there. You can add some like little decorative details. Come up here and, and touch up around the edges with your paint. Pull it up. Grab some twine. and then the other stuck my finger in the paint of course that's probably way good I'm just gonna tie a double knot in this we want the knot to be good and secure extra and there we go you can just go hang it on um, hang it on outside and fill it with a little bird seed and um, help out our little feathered friends so I hope you enjoyed this uh, cute little craft that we did this Sunday craft afternoon keep an eye out on our calendar for our fantastic stem programs and pumpkin decorating in October and we'll also be bringing you some zoom into story time so you'll be able to see some of our uh, some of our story time favorites coming to you to bring some great books and uh, songs straight to you. So, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you have a great Sunday.